working with a patient care report. In this video, I will be showing you the general workflow of creating and editing a patient care report. The Rescue homepage contains a table of PCRs. Clicking a row will open that report. To create a new report, click the Create Blank PCR button. The action bar contains buttons and information regarding the PCR. Clicking the section menu allows you to navigate to a specific section. The blue navigation buttons allow you to navigate to the previous and next sections. The green button with the floppy disk allows you to save your report. It's important to know your PCR saves automatically each time you change sections. The Validate button validates the PCR. Validation is covered in detail in a separate video. The blue Submit button validates and finalizes the PCR. Once submitted, a PCR is eligible for approval by a supervisor. The orange Print button creates a print-friendly report to download or print. The status of the PCR is always displayed at the far right. The first section you see when opening a PCR is the Overview section. This section contains fields from multiple different sections. It is meant to capture important information that defines the PCR. Now I will go over the different types of fields in Rescue. A date field will always have a calendar button beside it. You can choose the date by using the calendar control or typing it in manually. It is not necessary to manually type the forward slash. PCR date will automatically be populated in all date fields clicked on throughout the remainder of the PCR. Drop-down fields are fields that accept only one answer from a list of options. These options can be searched and filtered. Some drop-downs have many options and must be searched to display all values. Multiple drop-down fields allow more than one answer from a list of options. These fields can be searched and filtered like normal drop-downs. To remove a selected option, click the X or press the backspace key. Rescue has a Social Security Number Import feature. If the Social Security Number entered has been previously entered, the Import button appears. After clicking Import, a verification window appears displaying the information that will be imported. All listed information is overwritten with the most recent information entered for that Social Security Number. Times are recorded in a 24-hour format. It is not necessary to manually type the colon. Input fields with a button beside them allow you to select a not value, pertinent negative, or additional information for that field. Some fields are grouped together within a panel. New panels are added with the green Add button. Panels can be collapsed. They are removed by clicking the X icon and confirming. To add multiple entries for fields such as a patient's current medications or phone numbers, click the green plus sign. These can be removed by clicking the red X and confirming. Rescue has multiple shortcut buttons that help you complete sections for common scenarios. These include copy from scene for the patient address, Add normal assessment for patient assessment. No vitals taken for patient vitals. Normalize for Glasgow score. No cardiac arrest for the arrest section. 
no procedure performed for the procedure section, no medication given for the medication section, no hospital team activation, and no EMS crew member injury for the outcome section, and copy from crew members for the signature section. PCR statuses and what they mean. A report is in progress upon creation and any time it is saved. For instance, if you submit a report and then save it, it will return to the in-progress status. A report becomes submitted after a successful submission passing validation. The report will remain in the submitted state until a supervisor reviews the submission or you make and save changes. This would return your report to the in-progress state. If, after submission, a report is rejected by a supervisor, it will fall into the rejected status. Otherwise, it will continue to the ready for transfer status, followed by the transferred status upon successful transfer. After the report is in the ready for transfer state, only supervisors can unlock a report for changes and corrections to be made. If it is successfully processed and stored on the state server, it will continue into the past state. Otherwise, it will go into the failed state. When you delete a report, it goes into the deleted state and will no longer be viewable or editable.